Alright, if you thought that stage 8, hate actually, was a bit of a disaster, then you can feel free to take a breather because this next stage is somewhat of an easier stage. And I say that because it's uh, not easy. Well, I've said that for basically every stage in this game so far. And that's just my excuse of saying that I'm bad. And to an extent, that is true. Uh, anyway, um, this is stage nine, which is referred, to, which is the treasure room. And as you can tell, there is a very good reason as to why it is referred to as the treasure room. Um, there is, uh, there's gold here, lots of gold actually. Um, this is probably where Dracula keeps all of his money. And even the skeletons they see here are made out of gold, and they're a pain to deal with. Because, and the reason they're a pain to deal with is because they do more damage than regular skeletons. Oh, jeez, that was scary. Uh, but thankfully they do take the same amount of hits to kill as regular skeletons, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah. Um, so back, so back to where I was saying that this is probably where Dracula keeps his money. And Simon is a good guy, and he decides... Okay, hold on, let me focus on this. Okay, good. We're pat... Okay, good. Um, I was struggling with that on practice. Um, but, um, we're, we're, we're past... We're... Past that point, Jesus Christ, that was scary. Uh, but anyway, uh, Simon is a good guy, and he s decides that he's not going to take any of the money. You know, that's um, that's uh, very gentlemanlike, you know. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, jeez, that was uh, that was really weird. <laughs> um, I mean, since there's probably nobody else in the room. Uh, I'd, I'd say if I was in a situation, I'd probably take the money. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'd probably take the money if I was him. Since nobody else is here, Minus will take it. Um, and that's actually what I and that's actually what I would do in a IRL situation. If there's nobody, if there's nobody around and there's money lay, laying, then yes, I would take it. Uh, but of course, if there's somebody with me. Then that's a much di then that is a different story. I would um I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't touch it. Um and and that's uh, simply because of peer pressure. Okay, good. Um that's a very dangerous part. Right? That's a very dangerous spike section right there. I'm not a fan of that. But yeah. Um. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh my God. Okay, this bone dragon's a jerk. Let me get rid of him. Let me kill him. There we go. Can I jump, please? Can I jump, please? Can I? Can you let me go? Thank you. All right. But yeah, uh, of course, people in the comments are probably gonna are probably gonna go bullcrap on me uh, because I just said that. Uh, but that is true. There is um one time. So I so I take a so I took a evening class in uh, college, and. Um, there's a vending machine downstairs of where my of where my evening class is, and um, there was one time after class um, where somebody was getting a snack from the vending machine, um, and he put his and he put his he put a dollar in, and it caused the vending machine to do some really weird stuff, <laughs> and uh, and that resulted in the vending machine spewing out many many quarters. So basically, an infinite amount of quarters were coming out of the vending machine, <laughs> and um, they were like five or six people. They were like I don't know, five, five, six, or seven of us, like just watching all those quarters um, pop popping out, uh, coming out of the vending machine, and um, you know we were all watching. None of us even picked up a single quarter out of that vending machine at all. Can you can you imagine can you imagine how ridiculous that the that that's that sounds? I mean, you probably wouldn't believe me, but um uh yeah, there's um Yeah, you probably wouldn't believe me, but um yeah, none of us picked up a single quarter. I don't actually know what happened to any of those quarters uh now. Um I this I suppose that they uh, dispose of the quarters now, um at this point, but um um 
But yeah, it was cool. It was quite the experience. Um, by the way, this boss is a. I can. This is actually where I consider a boss to be pretty hard. Um, this bats is flying up really high. By the way, having the um, long whip is very very useful in uh, against against this fight right here. Um, so that way you can reach these guys, and there we go! That is the gold bat defeated. I don't know if that's actually its name, but I'm gonna call it that. So that's stage 9, and now we're off to everybody's fan favorite level in a Castlevania game. Ooh, we're going upstairs. Let's go up the stairs and see what it is. 